it's basic human instinct to run. It's why we have fight or flight. That's why, you know, the problems, the storm, whatever it is that exists right now in your life, no matter how big, no matter how small, we procrastinate, we push it off. And as a result of this, the weed starts to grow, right? The roots dig deeper, the interest begins to compound. And then the day you finally do decide to confront it, it's a much more challenging battle. And I wanna help you solve this issue. And the best way I can do that is through telling you a short story. So rather than acting like humans do, the buffaloes have a different approach. When a storm comes over the prairie, the buffalo, rather than running with the storm and procrastinating, they realize the flaw in this. And here's how it works. If the storm is going this way and you run away from it, it follows you. Like I said, you're delaying it. So what the buffalo does is rather than running with the storm, they go against the grain. That way the duration is shorter, it's much more temporary, and they confront the issue head on. And I feel like that's a lesson that we can learn in our lives, is there's something I know you're putting off. It could be big, it could be small, it could be a conversation, it could be a bill, it could be, could be a business model, it could be a relationship that you want to change, it could be any of these things. And when we delay them, it, it only grows, right? The assignment's still gonna be there. The conversation you must have is still gonna be there. You know, the ugly reality must be confronted. And that's the problem I think that so many of us have as young men is we wanna run from these problems. We don't wanna endure the pain, the struggle. And here's the problem with that, is if you live your whole life in avoidance of, you know, your fears, your insecurities, your struggles, your challenges, whatever it may be, if you just live your life in avoidance of these things, you're just gonna live an average life, a very normal life. And if that's what you want, that's, that's completely okay. It's entirely up to you. But if it's not what you want, you have to run into the storm. You have to confront it, bro. I know it's hard, I know it's challenging, I know it's gonna seem scary and intimidating, and I've done this before in my life. And quite frankly, it didn't begin until I was about 20 years old. And the first 20 years of my life were normal. They were average. Right? I did what everyone told me to do. I went to school, I got a job, I went to college, and it wasn't even alignment with what I wanted in this world. Right? I was too scared to run into the storm. I was too scared to get out of school. I was too scared to leave my hometown. I was too scared to get around a strong network of people to help me grow, to help me prosper. And because of this, I, I just played it safe. And the crazy and interesting part about this is I started to resent myself. I started to hate myself. I was super dissatisfied where I was at, and I realized that no matter how many people I blamed, my parents, my friends, the school, the education, all this shit, when I gave the control to someone else, I got a dopamine hit from it. It felt good to just push all my problems and all the blame, all the authority, all the accountability on someone else. It made me feel better because I didn't feel like I was at fault. And I think that's a major problem we have as young men is we don't go into these things with an open heart. We don't take accountability for the fact that we're in control of our lives, right? No matter, no matter what the situation, bro, it's, it's not their fault. You played some form of role. And the reason why you need to be accountable for this is if you're not, what, you're just gonna give the keys to your future to someone else and they're gonna start driving? You ride shotgun your whole life. At some point, you gotta look at the problem and the problem's in the mirror. Because at least when you view life this way, it serves you a benefit. You can control it. You can't control the things you can't control. But when you just forfeit all your problems, all your blame, all your issues to someone else, you're just a bystander in your own life. And that's what most people do. That's what I did for 20 years. And the interesting thing is, is when things started to change in my life, I started to use you know fear, my insecurities, challenge, being uncomfortable as a compass. I used that to guide me. I started to run into the storm. And when this happened, life started to change, right? I, I got out of my hometown. I started making an income I was proud of. I got around the right people. I grew mentally, I grew physically, all these things. And I think part of the problem here is, is when you don't run towards these things, you never grow. You never find out who you're supposed to be. And if, dude, if you're anything like me, it's hard to sleep at night knowing how far I am from my potential. 
especially when I was in college, bro, I could not sleep. It was impossible. I'd sleep maybe two, three hours a night. In those seasons, those moments of lack of sleep, they still occur in today's life for me, right? Because the challenges will always become apparent. There will always be a new battle, a new war to fight. And I think you should go into these things with an open heart, right? You should open your heart to the pain, to the struggle, to the discomfort, to the disparities, whatever it is. And the reason being is it hardens you, it shapes you, it gives you mental resilience, it builds mental fortitude. And that's what it takes to become a man. I I truly believe that. You got to go through struggle. You got to go through some form of, of disappointment in your life. You know, it's this false narrative right now that I see being pushed far too often that life's all sunshine and rainbows, right? And if you, if you go about life this way, when the storm comes, you're going to run from it. You're going to give up. It's cowardice rather than just confronting it for what it is, right? It's like that Bruce Lee quote, you know, you shouldn't wish for an easy life. You should wish for the strength to endure a hard one. And that's the truth. You know, I think, uh, the identity that you're searching for as a young man is on the other side of the problems that you're avoiding. And if you ever want to become that person, you ever want to level up, you ever want to truly personally develop, you have to confront it. You have to stop avoiding it because it's always going to be there. It's always going to grow. And when you start to run through these problems, run through these brick walls, these obstacles, so to speak, you start to gain momentum, not only towards the person you want to become, but just towards the goals you want to achieve right? You, you now have reference experience. You're, you can look at your past and say, hey, I did this before. I can do this now. It's just, I feel like many young men, we delay the first wall and we just sit there living a life we hate. And if that's not you, that's fine. This video isn't for you. But if that is you, my challenge to you is to confront it, to run towards it, to rip the bandaid off because it's only going to get worse. It's only going to get more unbearable. It's only going to get tougher. And like I said earlier, you will start to resent yourself for it. You'll start to hate yourself for the fact that you just played it safe, the fact that you lived a life of comfort. And you see this in older people. I feel like that's why sometimes, you know, the, these older men, they're just so resentful to everyone else because it's, it's a lingering insecurity inside themselves that they just voice their resentment towards you when it's really towards themselves. And the thing I started to learn when I used, you know, my fears, my discomfort as a compass to guide me through life is I learned a really valuable lesson is, you know, winning in success. It's not always about finding the light. I think that's a myth. I think part of winning is embracing the dark. It's embracing the struggle. It's embracing the ugly. And when you go through those times, especially as a young man, you start to live the life of a hero right? You can, you can think of any movie, bro. It could be Captain America. It could be Spider-Man. It could be Batman. It does not matter. For a majority of the movie, he gets his ass kicked, gets the shit beat out of him, right? But through those beatings, he learns, he adjusts, he adapts, right? That's, that's the basic human way of survival. Is there a, there's a cat behind me, but I feel like that's what we need to learn as young men is that's probably one of the best teachers is pain. It is struggle. And when you live in avoidance of this, you become weak, you become frail. And when you start to confront these issues, you build resilience, you build the traits of a winner. I think there's this false narrative that, you know, winners are unbroken. I don't think that's the case. I think winners are broken. They just get up more than they get knocked down. I feel like that's the approach that you should have is the struggles will come. It does not matter what you want to do. If you want to do anything of meaning in this life, struggles will come with it. And as time goes on, they're going to get bigger. They're going to get scarier. They're going to be, make you more fearful. But on the other side of that, you know, that resistance, that barrier is the person you want to become. Right? That's why it's hard to sleep at night for me, knowing there's that barrier that I'm, that I'm not confronting, the obstacle I'm not running towards. And you feel off purpose. You might not have the energy. You might not have the motivation. Your head might be clouded. I found in my life, whenever I just run through it, I go against the grain. I get energy from it. I get motivation from it. You know, I think there's a misconception in the idea that motivation will one day just find you. It will come to you. That's not the case. First comes the action, then comes the motivation. It's like going to the gym. 
right? You might not have the motivation to go to the gym all the time, but afterwards you thank yourself for it. No one feels worse after a gym workout. You know, if I'm being blunt here, I think this is the best advice I could ever give to my former self is that identity, the person you wanna become is forged in fire. It's forged in struggle. It's like a sword, right? A sword sits in the blacksmith's forge. They pull it out and they hammer it to shit. Beat the hell out of it. Then it goes back in the fire and they continue beating it. And as this process continues, the sword's forged into a, into a beautiful weapon. And I feel like that's, you know, part of our journey as young men is we have to go through these periods of, of you know, struggle, of these beatings, so to speak, of discomfort, of pain. And that's really how we learn. Right, I didn't learn to, to not touch the stove through my mom telling me dozens of times to, to not touch the stove. I touched the stove and I burnt the shit out of my hand. I was like, maybe I shouldn't do that. So whatever it is for you, it, it could be huge, it could be small. It could be a conversation, it could be you know, a job, it could be something related with school. Maybe it's you know, with a girl, maybe it's with your friend. It does not matter. Confront it, take it head on. And stop avoiding it because it's only the emotions attached to that are only going to grow. That anxiety, that depression, whatever it is, bro, it's only going to develop. You need to run towards it. You, can, you cannot numb yourself from this. Why do you think there's such a problem with you know, young men with drinking, with smoking, other recreational drugs? It, it's a numbness to the current reality. They run from it. They don't want to feel it. And it's a fundamental problem, bro, because if you don't feel the dissatisfaction with the current reality, you will never feel the motivation to do anything about it. Anytime I've gone through massive change in my life, I was pissed off. I was upset, right? I, I was, I call it grateful dissatisfaction, right? I was happy for the, for the things that I had, but it wasn't enough. And I knew I had to keep going. Do not numb yourself to your problems. Do not run from them. Do not get high. Do not get drunk and live your life in avoidance. Because if you do so, nothing's going to change. Literally all you're doing when you live your life in avoidance is you're taking you know, the dopamine, the happiness, all that stuff from the future and you're bringing it to today. That's what happens. You decide to get you know, shit-faced and avoid your problems. You, you take all the happiness from tomorrow, from next week. You bring it to today. You feel great during the moment. And then what happens tomorrow? You feel like hell. You feel like shit. Right? You, you got to go through the barrier. You got to get momentum. You have to get the bus rolling. You know, the first step is it's often the hardest. Maybe you fell off the wagon at some point. Just get the bus moving. It's going to require the most energy. It's going to require the most focus. But the most important thing is you will get momentum. You know, right now, if I had to guess, momentum is probably your enemy. It's not benefiting you. You're, you're stationary. And the problem with not having any momentum is stationary doesn't actually exist. You're either moving forward or you're moving backwards. So which way are you moving right now? Because if you're going backwards... Realize if nothing changes, it, it, this trend will continue. It will just continue to go down. But at some point, you have to make a correction. You have to make an adjustment. First comes the action, then comes the motivation. You know, one thing that really helped me when I go through a period like this in my life, I like to think of it as a movie, dude. Like, you know, I, I'm the superstar. This is the challenge. This is the test. This is the boss battle. On the other side of it, that's, that's what I want. That's the person I want to become, the identity I hope to attach to myself. So stop avoiding it, bro. Just rip the Band-Aid off. You're going to feel better, I promise you. And go into it with an open heart. You know, let the pain, let the fear, let the discomfort, all of that stuff, feel it. It's going to forge you. It's going to help you become the person you want to be. It's going to harden you. It's going to give you resilience. I mean, bro, I, I could tell you as much as I want about this topic, you know, forming a strong mind, all this stuff. But at the end of the day, if you don't do any of the actions, you'll never achieve it. You know, forming a mindset, it's not like this thing that you can just sit here and, and listen to and all of a sudden you have a, sh you know, a, a tough mind, a sharp mind. That, that's not how it works. You actually need to, to do it. You need to learn. You need reference experience. And a better way to look at this too is, is young men were extremely competitive, Right? You might have played sports, some form of a competitive environment you've probably been in before. 
And one thing I heard that's really helped me is when it gets hard, when it gets difficult, when the challenges, you know, the pain, whatever it is, gets unbearable. That's also when the competition is probably ready to throw in the towel. They're probably ready to give up. And it's interesting. Everyone wants to get ahead of people. Yet when it comes time to do the, the necessary things to get ahead of people, they, they want to quit. And that's how you stay where you are. Rather than just confronting it, rather than just running towards it. That's how you get ahead, right? Just stop thinking of the problem is poor me. That, that's not a good mental frame. Think of it as poor everyone else who has to go through this after me because that's when most people quit. That's your edge is the lengths you're willing to go, the distance you're willing to run, even if the distance is unknown. That's truly how you get ahead in this world. So remember, confront the ugly reality. Don't numb yourself to it. Don't run from it. Confront the ugly reality because the beautiful future will never exist unless you audit the reality that you're suffering from. So as always, stay focused, stay committed. If you're looking for people who see it the same way as you, the community in the description is for you and it's free. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one.